Hey, what's going on, sexy Samurai Love Squad? I got a I got a bomb hoodie on. I know it's the first thing I'm saying, but look at my hoodie. It's a little Appa hoodie, and I have a little Appa dog from Avatar. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. It's huge. It's actually huge. Um. All right. What do I want to play? If I don't care, <coughs> excuse me, about if I don't care about any kind of specific thing or pleasing anyone, if I just want to play Smite and I want to slam a duel, who am I picking? Who am I picking? That's not a question I've asked myself in years. Um, I think I want to play. I'm just looking at all the gods. Just collecting data, if you will. I kind of want to play Nuwa, but I want to max her two first. And I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, I want to play Mercury. Oh, yeah. Oh, I 100% want to play Mercury. I love Mercury. <clears throat> I don't play him anymore because he's not that good anymore. Hold on one second. I got to clear my throat. All right, we're back. Let's go. So Mercury... All right, let's explain the matchup real quick. I'm going I'm going back to some informative gameplay because I know a lot of times I just talk out the ass about nonsense while I'm recording and I don't like that and I feel like you go you guys don't like that either. You go. You go. Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyways, I talk out the ass a lot. <clears throat> Case in point. And you guys don't like that. And uh, I don't think I like it too much. I like being the informative guy on YouTube. You know, I think that's kind of my thing, and I think I should stick to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the matchup. Apollo versus Mercury. Mercury has higher damage. He's never going to be outboxed by Apollo. However, Apollo's 2 does give him about 35 protections, I believe. Maybe it's nerfed down from 50 quite a few times. I believe it's 35 or 30. Um, as, well, as well as the fact that he can run away pretty effectively by using his 2 and his 3 in a combination to effectively disengage from any fight I want. So what I'm going to have to do is find an entry point into fights. My my, I'm not winning the game off of low poke battles, but I am going to have to win the game off of poke that leads into all ins. Because normal fighting won't work. Now, he's going to roll through the wave because that gets his passive. But this is a perfect opportunity for me to fight him. Because like I said, I am not going to be out damaged by him. Unfortunately, he's got a couple archers there helping him out. But either way, even with his archers, we ended up going relatively even with him there. I toss him in the tower here and he dies. Oh, I missed that. That is really bad. I was taking my time to throw that one because I really wanted it to hit, but fortunately a big whiff by me. Still maybe a kill though. Perfect. Perfect. Still a kill. Just keeping that aggression up as high as I possibly can while not overextending too, too much because it's all about that balance when you're fighting in Apollo, especially as a melee character. I mean, if I'm a mage here, I don't care. If I'm a mage, I'm W King 24 7, not caring about a single thing in the world. Um, he can kill me here. His one hits for about 180 ish. So I'm going to respect that and back off a bit. Go here, grab some potions. Looking at the mini map, he's running to his blue buff right now. His blue buff isn't that big of a deal. I do obviously want to get all the XP on the map, but um, I guess perfection is not achievable in this game. So I'll stick with. Just getting my two buffs and maybe XP camp. See if I can greet it. He is not here and doesn't look like he's coming. So perfect. We get XP camp too. Uh, he does have alt. So keep in mind that will hit me for about 300 damage, even at rank one. If he gets all the ticks is, is what I'm saying, but he probably won't. Let's be honest. Not because he's bad, but because Apollo getting all the ticks on his alt is absurdly strong. Um, okay, I think him dashing in might have killed him. He's, he has to ult here. He ults or dies. I guess death was his choice. I guess death was his choice. 
I alted the wave because it applies an insane amount of pressure. He's not alting again, which makes me think that he didn't pick up his alt level 5. Ouch. If he didn't pick up his alt level 5, by the way, he has Griffin Wing, so I am eligible to death at the moment. Um, I'm trying not to line up with my wave too much. And I can fight him if we're just peeping, we're just peeping in and out of wave. I'm not scared of that. A little wave manipulation goes a long way. You got to use your shell here, bud. Shell. He didn't shell that. Oh my God. I really thought he was going to pop that shell. All right, he did level to six, which means he does probably have his alt here because he sees me greeting this wave. Um, unfortunately for him, I do have a shell and I have almost enough mana to dash away. So he never kills me here. Instead, he's just going to go for the wave. Good for me. Uh, damage wise, I am going to be going crit chance, but it's smarter for me to go into some sort of defense immediately. Never I know it looks like I bought tier two regrowth, but I'm just going breastplate. I could actually be going spectral because it does look like he might be going into some crit chance. Nor the normal ADC build is like griffin wing and then devos and then some defense and then some crit chance for him it looks like he's switching it up a bit going griffin wing into dominance maybe i doubt that's a transcendence that would be a weird play but <clears throat> maybe it is i mean he's only 700 gold down even though i've killed him three times I'm definitely gonna alt him again here all through the wave this is what alting through the wave oh that's really good for me him mezzing me there means he cannot compete with red. I was really hoping he would mez me. Because he... The only way he gets buffs from me, I think, I think. Because I believe my last auto attack from my auto attack chain... Hello. Um, alright. I would have fought that, but he popped the horn shard earlier than me and was already he already had his passive up, so... I'm okay. But I believe the last auto attack in my auto attack chain does out damage his normal auto attack, which is what I was saying beforehand. Um, and with his mez down, he has no way to actually just like mez me and steal it. I'm just poking him with my one, by the way. Like, I, I don't think he's in any position to win a fight right now, believe it or not. Unless he catches my mez or my dash with his mez. All right, he didn't hit me with the one. Let's see if he gets aggressive here or if he backs off for buff. He gets aggressive. All right. Weird play. Power damage? I'm not too too worried about. Oh, perfect. He hit me there. He hit me. Perfect. That was actually so good for me. The second that he landed that auto attack on me, he died. Because there, there's no world... <clears throat> There's no world where I don't toss him in a tower the second he lands that auto attack on me. So I was walking in front of his autos trying to tank one from tower. And then once, you know, once it did hit me, the three just solidifies the kill. I will say a little bit closer than I thought it would be. I did have to use the shell, which, um, you know, cause that, dude, that mez, that mez is rough as a, as a melee. Yeah. Okay. So he's going dom. I cannot fight because I don't have my three. If I had my three here, I'd be willing. And I am willing now. He's going to mez me the second I get close. So I'm going to keep my distance, but not too much. Dang it. This does go over walls. So that'll hit him. All right. Perfect. And there's the surrender. There's the surrender. He died. Dude, I killed him for that fifth time. Like you can see five kills here. But he surrendered so fast after the kill. My score line reads four and four oh and oh. But his score line is zero zero five. <laughs> That's really funny. Um oh there you go. The kill is added on there. I'm gonna do another Mercury game. That was a lot of fun, and I'll just edit them together. Hey yo boys, I'm back. Mercury again. Let's go with the Captain Quick skin. One of the earliest Mercury skins there is. Oh no. Oh no. It's one of my worst matchups.
Ah, oh, crap. And he's got X's in his name. That's how you know he means business. Oh, God. I'm terrified. Okay, here's the game plan. Here's the game plan. I'm going to go B's. And obviously, I'm going to go Wing Shard because it's just better. I'm going to get one in each ability. And I'm going to run at him. Straight up run at him. At his blue buff. I'm not going to let him get it. If he gets his blue buff, I am in deep shit. Because here's, here's what happens if he gets that blue buff. If he gets red, it's fine. I don't care. If he gets blue buff and, like, picks it up, then my issues become such. One, he outclears me an astronomical amount. I will never catch up in clear, and I will stay under my tower, losing gold and experience, and probably losing poke and then losing my blue buff inevitably. So he'll get triple buff control if he gets blue buff. Probably. Two, I cannot fight him ever, at least for like until I'm level five. Maybe when we when I get alt, I can fight him, or if he messes up, you know. But that's a edge case. Um, so two, he wins fights, he gets triple buff control. I'm very very sad. Three, dual orb is a thing in this game now. So if he kills me because of all the pressure he has, he instantly takes my tower. Which is, it, I, I don't really need to say this, but I'm gonna. That's bad. So, um, all three of those things are gonna happen if he gets blue buff. What will happen if I stop him from getting blue buff? He doesn't have enough mana to clear consistent waves, so I can catch up in wave clear. He doesn't have enough mana to kill me if I'm just in the poke battle with him, so I can stay in the poke battle. And three, maybe I can kill him if he runs out of mana, and I can abuse that aspect. So, really, this is going to determine the game. I'm extremely scared because I don't, I really don't know if I'm going to ever be able to outsecure a Poseidon, but damn it, I'm going to do my best. All right, there's all of his abilities. I'm actually full committing. No! No! What's the poke like? Oh no. The horn shard. Not good. That is very not good for me. Oh, he's playing weird. He's playing weird. Wait, hold on. Hold on. He's not abusing the fact that he can spam his abilities. If he doesn't abuse it, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm doing okay right now. I'm okay if you want to hurt me a little bit. All right, that's fine. I kept up in clear for the most part. I mean, I'm down an archer minion, but that's not bad. I can maintain this. Now I need to pressure him. Like he can kill me, make no mistake, but he doesn't know he can kill me. And if he doesn't know he can kill me, then I can be dumb and aggressive and it'll work for me. He used his three on me, which is perfect. Okay. Very, very nice for me. Very, very nice for me. Now, you can have red. I'm I'm not going to contest red. Because there's no way I steal it. What I am going to do is let you take red while I back by my power spike. You're going to be greedy and go for the wave. I'm going to ult you. I have beads for your kraken and you're going to die. This game sucks. He didn't even greed for the wave. He didn't even greed for the wave. Um, he did go Chronos Pendant, which is quite a bit of damage. It's 100 power, but I might be able to kill him. <laughs> uh, I'm, I thought I missed. Okay, he dies here. Oh, he didn't even crack it. I was hovering my beats the whole time. Let's go. Okay, huge. Huge. I'm very thankful that he didn't understand the pressure that uh, that blue buff allowed him. Because that's what I was worried about. Because if he uh, if he is like a seasoned Poseidon player and he gets a blue buff, he understands that means he's pressing his buttons. You know? Like, uh, those buttons... Oh my goodness. 
Those buttons should be pressed. He just horn sharded, by the way, so I'm just going to run away from this. He did get my beads. Watch out. Ah. They're getting some damage from those minions, but I'm not that scared. I'm going to go pe uh, Pestilence here. The reason I'm going Pestilence is because it is the single most magical protection item in the game. Like, if you have one, if you have one protection item that's going to help you live the most, um, it's there. Pestilence. I mean, you're always buying Pestilence if you want to survive against Poseidon. Or against any mage, for that matter. Unlucky, but he didn't pick it up. I don't think he will either. Minions group up, please. Ah, all but one. Fine. This allows me innate pressure. Pressure that I don't need to actually create, but pressure that's just there. Which is good. Chests are open. You don't scare me. You cannot compete with my chests because you have to go to the wave. I will just slowly kill my chests. Boop, boop, pow, bop, boop. And you have no Kraken, and I do have an ult, so you got to be a little bit scared. You do have defense, though. And I also win defense, so I'm probably not killing you with one combo. Which is fine. It's fine. No big deal. Hello. I'm not dying here, so... I'm just backing out. No big deal. Chasing me? Watch out. Oh, that's what chasing you gets you. That's what chasing me got you. You greedy boy. Now you back and you lose a red buff. Oh, not good for him. Not good for him. Man, when I start calculating, it's over for these guys. Honestly, Talisman does feel really good in this scenario, but I'm not going to get that. I do want to go Serrated, because Pen is OP. That's Serrated. There we go. Uh, he might be going for my blue buff. I would like to stop that. I can get the XP from the minions dying tower while doing blue buff. So there's a little tip for you guys. I know a lot of people are always conflicted when they're pushed under tower. They have a minion going into the tower and somebody invading the blue. You always contest the blue invade because, yes, you're not getting the gold from the minions, but you're getting the experience. And experience is way more important than gold in this game. Way more. I can be down an item, but up two levels and still win the fight. He's grouping the wave up for the three. I want him to crack in because I have beads up. Thank you. And now you should be scared. Oh, you have fast cooldowns. That is one of those scenarios that I, whenever I used to coach people a lot. And uh, whenever I coached people, I would always tell them, never juke back and forth. Just never do it because, and I know you'll see me do it sometimes, but that's different. When I'm juking back and forth, it's so I can get out of auto attack range. When you're juking back and forth, it's for nothing. <laughs> there's, there's a difference. Uh, you know, there's like, when you juke back and forth, you are making no distance away. Like you're, you're not providing yourself any kind of distance. Um, by the way, I, I don't ever, oh. Oh, I was going to say I don't ever get this, but maybe... Oh, no! He is cracking again. I forgot his cooldowns were so short. <gasps> oh, live! Thank you, babe. Appreciate it. Keep up, stop, 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 stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I can grab Serrated really fast. Just all out there with half health and half mana. I can't. That's unlucky, but it's not a big deal because I'll just grab the wave and back again. All right. So far, so good. I underestimated his uh, his alt cooldown, which actually scares me. That actually does scare me. Uh, he doesn't have a second relic yet. I really want to go horrific because I think horrific will basically kill him. Sprint will also basically kill him. 
I'm ulting this wave. And I hit him. All right, so you might be wondering why I threed him while I, when I knew I was going to get stunned. The reason is because... And this is weird. I don't know why it happens. But with Smite, even if you don't channel your stun or your CC effect, as long as you initially hit it, that CC effect is there. So when I hit him with my with my three while I was getting Krakened, um, he was stunned in place, which stopped him from comboing his auto attacks and his one at the same time as his Kraken. So by stopping that, obviously two things are happening. One, I'm not dead, hopefully, because he's not able to combo his burst all together like he should be able to. And two, <clears throat> it allows me to still potentially win the fight. You know, normally you get cracked and you're like, ah, oh, well, okay, I didn't die, which is good, but I don't win the fight. But stunning him there actually gave me, it, it let me keep my, my distance, which, oh, I mean, that's a weird way of saying stay close, but it let me stay close to him to punch him. And um, it also let me really like live. It did both things. Okay, so I'm thinking I go horrific. I have one cheese kill where he doesn't have sprint and I do have horrific. So I have to make this kill worth it. Using this kill with my one relic, um, I need to abuse it to get a kill that either gives me dual orb that gives me phoenix yep 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 he dies there he knew he died there all thing was completely unnecessary but it was cool so i did it and dual orb is gonna give me this phoenix thank you dual orb we're gonna grab the blue buff and get out of here there's not really any xp on the map there might be treasure chests sitting around here it's been a while but um i don't really care that much boomerang into deathbringer i have a uh, 20 percent pen well i have 16 percent pen oh the treasure chests aren't here they must be right here then <clears throat> or i must have got them and forgot about them huh i don't know where they are but uh I have pen in this build. I have some sustain in this build and I have crit chance in this build. So the thing I'm lacking in this build is the amount of power that I would like. But honestly, I can supplement that power by using serrated. Like with my cooldowns on cooldown, I can get up to 200 power, which is good enough. I mean, I'm not slapping any cities down with it with Deathbringer, but it'll hurt. Okay, now how do I end this game? Let's think about this. I force a Kraken. Dash out. I'll go grab red. And then I'll alt in. That sounds pretty perfect. That sounds like an absolutely perfect plan to me. What I could have done instead of running to red is I could have gone here and back and then... Uh, bought in a red pot because a red pot would have helped me here you won't have kraken for probably kraken max cooldown 60 seconds it's been about 30 so i'll probably have another 30 second cooldown on this um 20 seconds now just gonna hit titan i'm gonna horrific just because it slows his attack speed and his damage damage output and that's about as much damage as i can do here but he backed up, so I'm going to do a little bit more. Use my two for slow immunity, just in case he does something really funky. Um, a little scary is the fact that his Titan, or uh, I'm sorry, his Phoenix is spawning soon. But man, my sustain with Serrated is crazy. But that shouldn't matter too much because I have Deathbringer now. So. Not only does Deathbringer give me an extra, what is it, 15 power, but it gives me extra crit damage on top of what I was already doing. So, okay. My crits before, 288. My crits now, 659. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I'm going to get in range of Phoenix and just tank it. I will maybe die. Because he's going to crack in me and I'm going to have to beads it. Oh my god, never mind. I do so much damage. I missed. Oh no, I missed. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. A very clean 5-0 and this game, 4-0 and last game. A little clean 9-0 and double Mercury victory for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this more informative style of, of uh, commentary. Please let me know if you did in the comments. I really want all the comments to let me know how I did. So, please. Um, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the, the video, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.